All right, fellas, first of all, con congratulations, man. You, you both are making, if I'm not mistaken, this will be your second state championship in your career, both of you guys. So, so man, just talk about the feeling, man, of being able first to play a team that you, you lost a little close to in the, in, in the regular season, St. Ignatius, and just to be able to play in that second state championship and get one and get that second one before you guys get up out of here. Let's talk I about mean, it. Number one, I mean, our team has been through a lot this season. And I mean, we fought a lot of adversity, a lot of up and down. So I mean, to be able to be at this point now is good. And then to play against St. Nations, I mean, we all played them early in the season. So I mean, we already know what, like, what, other, what other this game means to us. So I mean, yeah. Yeah, it means a lot to go do what like, what we've gone through throughout the season with like your family on this team to play in the last like game of the season. <clears throat> it just means a lot to make it to the final, especially play against a team that we lost to before. So hopefully we will get like, our revenge tomorrow. Man, playing in Dayton, Centerville is right around the corner. Just talk about, you know, just having that home field advantage to where while you have other teams who, I don't know if you guys are staying in a hotel. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you guys are sleeping in your own bed. You guys get to sleep in your own bed. It's like a normal routine for you guys. So just talk about, you know, being able to consistently play in your hometown in Dayton, you know, having that home field court. I mean, it most definitely feels good. I mean, even through all, all up and down, I mean, I mean, they uh, still come support, come support us after L's and losses, after wins and losses. I mean, it just feels good. I mean, just to be at this point in the season where, like you said before, to finish the game as, um, as a state title as our last game, I mean, it just feels good. And to know that, like, even today we walked in, I seen all three, we had our stands on both sides of the course. I mean, just seeing that, it just really felt the love for Yeah, uh, playing here, it does mean a lot. Like, growing up around here, like, going to all the games, like, seeing, like, guys play on this court, high school, college, like, all the time, being close, this close to my home, is just, it's, it's a great feeling. And, Getting like our families to come out, friends, like students, like it's just, it's just you can feel the support all around the arena from everybody. My last question is a two part question. One, what does the next 16 hours look like? Because I mean, you guys playing tomorrow at 8 30. That's my first one. And two, there's no Sam Springer for St. Ignatius, so it's a different team. What did you, what did you, what did you guys take from last game when you played them as well as tonight to, you know, get that dub tomorrow? The next 16 hours, most definitely, I mean, Rest, sleep, film, just really just getting our bodies ready, our minds ready for tomorrow. I mean, and then we're not having Sam. I mean, Sam was Sam was a big blue guy, a big blue, blue guy for Sam Nation. So, the Sam not playing is most definitely like a, a little different team. But I mean, for us, we're going to come on and play the same way like everybody else. Yeah, uh, 16 hours, it's going to be a lot of rest, a lot of film, just talking, getting like getting our minds, bodies right for the game. And uh, yeah, them not having Sam is definitely, it's definitely a loss for them, but. We know they're still gonna come out playing really hard, playing to win. I mean, state championship. So we just gotta play our best and be us. All right, fellas, man. Congrats again, man. Go get some rest, man, and go go get that second one before we get up out of here.